Hello, here we are, and tonight we are playing a round of GeoGuessr. Um, tonight, um, we're playing a new game that's called uh, GeoGuessr, uh, and it's uh, pretty new, I think. I've seen it popping up in a couple streams before, and I've played a couple times, and it's um, pretty fun. It's a lot of fun. And... Uh, so basically, you just get a map of different locations and different places uh, around the world, and um, each of these maps are um, like, prepared for a certain part of the world uh, or a certain theme. And then we have to guess where that location is, and the closer we get, obviously, the closer, um, the better, um, the better scoring we get. So and today, we want to start with um, European capitals. So let's play around European capitals. So here we are in what I can already tell is Paris. If it's a European capital, it has to be Paris. So what we have to do now is to look around this location, look for look for cues, and then basically on this map down here, uh, pinpoint it exactly where this is from. So um, since that's Paris, I I know that this street here is in the second arrondissement. That's a pretty good guess already. Um, there's a couple arrondissements in. Paris. That's how um, basically the neighborhoods around downtown are called. And so we look at the map here. Um, we see it as the first. Um, somewhere around that will be the second. Um, and I think it looks like he goes counterclockwise. Uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and it like spirals all the way out there to the fifteenth. And um, just so you know, uh, as as the rules uh, should be fair, we're not using any other. Um, Googling or anything um, than what we see that from this game. So we know we're in the second art mall, which has to be around here. And we know this is the Rue Saint Augustin. And um, we were placed here on this. How many how many streets are there? Uh, like a five point intersection, a five road intersection, and this place is called Plus. Gaillon. Oh, there's a restaurant uh, called La Fontaine Gaillon. La Fontaine Gaillon. So, like, this is the plus Gaillon. And so, basically, um, just all we have to do is to find this place here on the map on this in the second arrondissement. Um, so, I would guess that the, the probably the river is um, is a is where the second item will end and then it kind of like goes into the third over here maybe this is the um this is the border here and to the first yeah okay so pretty pretty small item we're looking for a commercial area so that would be like this yellow part here any of these yellow parts beige parts are commercial areas and we're looking for the plus so also we have to look for the location uh, that we were placed in before. So if we start moving away from this on Google Maps to check other uh, check out other streets, um, we still have to guess where the original location was to get the most points. So um, I guess that we will. Oh, where does it? Where? It may it may end here on this crossroad here. What's this road called up there? Um, Boulevard Ausma. Boulevard Italien. So let's look around a little more. Let's find some more streets. So this is the Rue Gaillon. And what was this street called again? This one was the Ah oh, damn it. Uh, so here is Rue Pochmahon. So can't remember that, so let's go somewhere else. Let's find here's a here's a street sign. The first street the street sign I saw, Rue Saint Augustin. So, um, Rue Saint. Oh, see, like here's the here's an older 
uh, street sign and here's a newer street sign so they changed the design a little bit and uh, the uh, type on it so Rue Saint-Augustin and what was this one over there wait that was Augustin Rue Caillon okay let's look in this oh, this is and it's the Place Caillon all right so it's second arrêtement. let's see if we can nail this down a little bit more We have to be also probably already looking at the third over here. So I would guess it has to be like somewhere around there. Um, just just guessing right now, just putting the marker down. See if we find any Rue Rameau, Cléry. Do we see a Rue Gaillon somewhere? Uh, this is already the tenth and the ninth. Oh, this is it's a little bit tougher than I wanted it to be. I felt like I already nailed it down pretty well by looking at the second of it more. Um, we have the Rue Gaillon. Plus scale. Let's see. Where's the next big, possibly the next big street? Is this a big one? Oh yeah, it's a pretty big one. Okay, so we're looking at what's this called? This is so this is Rue Saint Augustin, uh, which leads to the place they were looking at, and this is the Avenue de l'Opéra, the uh, Opera Avenue, Opera Avenue. So that's a four lane street, and that is called Avenue. So there might be a so there's boulevards, rue, which are streets, and um, obviously avenues, and there might be a hmm, I guess there might be some rule behind. which how they're called so let's look at that second Arrêtement Avenue de l'Opéra um, man it's a really really great architecture around here look at that look how tall the first floor is on this and the second one and it gets smaller and smaller this is funny this is a, mm, an interesting building it's can we go there for a moment? Check this out. What is this? Nice. Look at this. This is like uh, almost looks like a prison, though. <laughs> this first floor, second floor, third floor. Oh, it's really nice here from this Avenue Opera. Is it Avenue de l'Opera? Okay, let's let's look at the map again. So we have a four lane road. That's the Rue Avenue de l'Opera. So let's see, what's this one called? Avenue de l'Opera, there we go. Okay, we found it. So this is the this is the street that we're on currently, and we know this one just one or two blocks down over here. So let's put just a marker here for a moment. Uh, leads into so it's like a like two streets go off from here from Avenue d'Opera. Probably that's down here is the Opera where it ends. Yeah, the Opera House. Oh, we're getting oh we're really close. We gotta be we gotta be already looking at it basically, right? So uh, we're looking at the Opera House down there. We're just like one, two blocks away. And Rue Saint Augustin. Hey, got over here. This place, the Gaillon. All right, we found it. Really, we were just looking at 
probably close to it. So uh, we must have been started over here. So not too bad, right? Oh, see, I would have thought that would already be the first uh, tomorrow. So let's see. Let's make the guess here. How close have we been? Ha! <laughs> yeah. Wow. We literally found the exact spot. Awesome. Great. So we got 5,000 points, which is the maximum we can get. Awesome. Let's play next round. Um, let's see. Where are we here? So this is European capital, capitals. Now we're uh, somewhere else. So placed in front of this uh, hotel. A red is from blue. There are also some... Uh, interesting, here's where MongoDB comes from. So here we look at some company names that have um, IE. It says Ireland? Um, look at this guy. He says they make signs, no entry, so it's definitely English speaking. Um, let's just look around here. Before we move away on the street, um, usually some of the um, company names would really be a good uh, a good clue where this could be. So just remember that we've been placed um, at this three-way intersection here. So let's move this way. I want to see what's coming up over there. Oh, here's a here's a street sign. Okay, that's good. That's good. Check this out. Where's this leading at? Um, okay, so there, there is, uh, is this Gaelic? So this is second language. So this this must be uh, Ireland or, or Scotland? Uh, pardon, pardon my ignorance here, but definitely a, um, a city where you have two different uh, languages, a traditional one and the typical British English. Um, we are somewhere in North England. This is this definitely is Gaelic. Looking at some of the characters they have, like they have like a, which is really interesting. I like um, I like their style. I've seen that font before. Um, let's see if I can find one here to show you. They, um, I guess, apparently in uppercase uh, type, in uppercase writing, they also spell they also use lowercase characters as the shape for uppercase characters which is pretty pretty i find that a pretty neat detail um so let's see um this is even uh, some handwriting style here uh, pretty roughed up but judging how many people are on the street this isn't we're not far from some either industrial, maybe it's lunchtime. Um, so we were definitely in front of this red and blue. That's a good clue that will show up on this. But we still need to nail down if we're in which part of um, England we're, we're from. So let's move on a little bit further. Uh, let me take a quick break, uh, change some stream settings here. All right, uh, here I'm back. Uh, apologies about this. Um, really, all I did was to change the um, privacy option of um, 
the stream to be public. It was unlisted before when I did some t um, testing for bandwidth. Um, I really just had to set it to public and uh, actually typed in the name of the game. It's uh, GeoGuessr and that's from 2013. So it's not as new as I thought it would be. So um, we're back. I really did not look at other information. Um, really just had to change the stream setting. So maybe someone could join and watch this. Um, so we're looking at the second map, the second location here. It's European Capitals. And we have five, uh, five places um, total on this map. So three more to go with this one, four. And uh, we established that this is a um, two language kind of, um, place. So there is Gaelic on the road signs as well as British English. So it has to be somewhere in England. And um, I can't figure out if Scotland or Ireland has Gaelic as a secondary language, but um, let's find out some other signs that we're looking for that could describe potentially uh, the name of the city or a landmark. Um, and, and also we know it's a, it's a capital, so it's either, um, it's either Dublin, Belfast, or uh, somewhere up here. What? What's the capital of Scotland? It's Glasgow or Edinburgh. Oh my God, this is this is this is awkward. So let's look somewhere else. Um, so actually, what's funny is right that this street view is done. Is this done by a private person? Because they're walking not on the road. They're walking on the sidewalk. Huh. Interesting. So what's really interesting, curiously though, that there is so much, so many. Yeah, people on the street walking that this really looks like an industrial area um, or commercial area almost I mean there's a really nice church over there wait so I can't go on this on the street there because we're really not using street view we're just following this person how long as they were walking the round so okay so we went behind here so here's good here's Dublin bus all right we know we're in Dublin so uh, pardon me friends it really is um, Dublin in by that regard, um, Ireland, who also that also has a secondary language, um, Gaelic, on their road signs. Um, so I'll show that again when we come across it. So, transport for Ireland bus um, here, the Dublin bus. Um, no, we're in Dublin, but maybe we can nail it down further where we are. Um, so let's see, we came, I think we're pretty much around the corner where we came from before. So this bus uh, goes to Jobstown via city center. So we're probably not in the city center yet. Uh, and this this bus will end in Jobstown. So here's Monkstown, Town. Is there maybe something like Jobstown here on the map. So let's see, there are a couple of towns down here. Booterstown, Sandy Mod Bomplet, Irish Town. It's interesting. There's there's definitely a couple mill town, a couple of places here that are named something something town. Monkstown.
we know it has to be somewhere something something town so let me just guess that it's somewhere here down there uh in the south okay so let me just well i guess they huh, right i guess the bus makes it to um to that via city center so maybe it's a bus that's maybe just on the opposite side so they may have buses run basically across um the city center and basically meet up in the city center so you can transfer so let me guess it may be over here because then the bus will make it down there let me just see how close we are we are just four kilometers away still gives us a good amount of points so this map isn't that hard because you're placed in a city center and um you can really really like find out a lot of details about the the area um that you're in so now we're in the next location and this one is sounds spanish portuguese maybe so let's see we i want to go do you want to go downwards let's go down maybe there's some water coming up some waterfront that could make it easy so we were placed somewhere up here oh this is really hard too, to figure out What's this place called? This sounds like intervention. Intervenção. No, oh, this sounds Portuguese though, to my ears. But what do I know? Uh, Lisboa, right? Well, in Lisbon. So we are in Portugal, as a matter of fact. And so Lisbon is on the water. So I would guess that all of this is uphill from the, uh, is this the, yeah, this is basically the Pacific, right? Well, what, about, what, what am I talking about? The Atlantic. Um, so this will be hard. I mean, we can see that the streets are mm, straighter down here and they're getting a little bit curved up there making making it like going into the hills hmm where in the world well where in Lisbon might this be did we came from up here yeah I think I think we were just around the corner here yeah okay so it's gonna make a wild guess just place it right here see where we are oh we're actually much closer to where I thought we would be yeah, well, I guess up here the streets are way curvier, and I should have, that that looks, uh, looks very different, right? But still, just five miles away. Here we are in. Uh, okay, so this is a six, maybe five, five lane road, an avenue. Music guy with a video camera. To film the end. Huh. Okay, so let's find a sign where we are. Oh, there's a big intersection coming up. Oh, yes, this is Poland. So we're in Warsaw. Let's go there to Warsaw. And uh, Warsaw, I've been there a couple of times. Um, I remember it distinctively that it has these very big um, intersections with a streetcar um, going through. So we're, we're on the intersection now and you see that that this is massive intersections, basically like, it's actually more like a round um, a roundabout that also features trains, which is pretty, pretty, um, pretty massive. Um, so guess that's why all these cars are lined up here because they have to wait for all the trains to pass and there's a lot of them now we can see like one two three four a bus five and there's a train back there six trains just at the time that this picture was taken so um i would hope that these trains get priority over any uh, vehicle traffic so um these might just wait for a little while so they can move on so we're at this big intersection and there should there's a there are a couple of them here's one you can actually see um 
the layout of the, the train tracks. I guess we could figure out maybe the, the, the tram tracks, uh, how they're laid out, to see if we could find an intersection that looks exactly like that. Here's a big one. Um, so what do we have here? We do have a T intersection. So the the um, trains, the uh, streetcars, they go in a tree in a T shape intersection. So could have been could be this intersection, just basically from the layout. Um, so let's look at a couple of businesses around here. So there's a business called Camp Camp what? Seems like a Campani restaurant. Campani restaurant. What? There's like a restaurant that has like a big sign like that. That's it's amazing. Um, oh, there's some nice art. I guess like just a entrance to is it the subway maybe. Um, let's see. Uh, let's, not too get, let's not get too far away from the point where we started because uh, I think uh, this might be a place where we can back can go back to the exact place where we came from uh, and mark it on the map. So I know we came from basically um, back back there uh, out of this street. So this is an interesting building here. This is also a Radisson Blue um, Hotel Sobieski. All right, so we're now behind the T basically. So Anything here, um, anything on this side would basically be, we should find this. We should find this Hotel Sobieski. This is a very distinct building, uh, some color, color work on it, and we came from, from that street away. So it's a T-shaped T uh, intersection for the streetcar, and it's a big roundabout. So let's let's look at them. Let's look where they are. Let's find a couple more. Um, so it was not. Uh, was it this one? Wait, maybe it's this one. Oh, it is. Ha! It is. Oh my God! I thought that was the one we just looked at, which uh, wasn't the one that we're talking about. But we found it. This is actually the sit. See, here is the. This was the entrance to the. Um, I guess this might be like the. The railway maybe on the ground for this time um where are we we're pretty much spot on this is like the i think this is the big train station right here so we came out of the street let's see i, I remember this guy on the tripod let's hop over to the other side of the road let's go back there so there was this guy filming i guess this looks like more like a picture camera and uh, I think this is, this is exactly where we started. And so across from us is a, hmm, let's find it out. Can we find the exact spot? So there's this building, here's this building broken up. The butcher shop, is this a butcher shop? What's it called? Chichiki Drops Club. Well, but I think that's pretty distinct. Here's this one building that ends Here's this small red building and then right next to it. So I think we're right here. Where the curve begins, right? Oh yeah, I wanna see. Do you think we're spot on? <laughs> what? <laughs> 1.5 meters away from the spot, really? And you, oh well, I guess they give us 5,000 points for that. That's good. No, uh, we didn't get that little badge, but I did really enjoy this location. All right, uh, last place. This is the last place that we're at. Um, very typical European city look right here. Very vanilla, very generic, or at least very common. Not very vanilla, but pretty nice. Pretty nice residential buildings here. So um, this is, this, I've lived in something like this before. That was pretty nice. Um, so we were starting in this street here. Um, oh, this this might be hard. Um, let's see. Flex events. 
Evensi set class. Dick, Dick, we're in Denmark. So we are in Copenhagen. That's pretty nice. Uh, Copenhagen is great. Uh, it also has um, some really nice architecture. Um, this is definitely the more historic place. So Svendrostway. So we are in Copenhagen. And we are looking at two streets, Niels Ebbens, Ebbesons Way and Svend Trusts Way, but that's not enough. Maybe the neighborhood is Osterboro, Copenhagen, N, North, Copenhagen, K, whoops. Damn, I do remember. Uh, I spent a I spent a vacation in Copenhagen in Malmo. It's pretty cool because you can take the train over between Copenhagen and Malmo, and when you go, the train um, basically follows this bridge. But at some point, it goes underneath. So I guess actually it is underneath for the first part. So this is where the ships can go over, and then in this little on this little island, the uh, the, the, the trains and the highway basically come out of the tunnel and then it's a bridge over water. It's pretty, it's a pretty nice bridge or structure to connect these two, pardon, these two um, countries. So we're somewhere in Copenhagen, um, that's for sure. Um, hmm. Let's look around. Oh, look at this wow look at the structure needed to have these street lights right on the street look at the that's pretty impressive i mean they have like these flying street lights right in the middle of the street but like way up way up in the sky so here's an airplane taking off from the airport and the airport is pretty close to the water, but I think it's south. It basically is... Um, I was sure it was right on the water. Right in the North Sea. But... Uh, I might be mistaken. I thought, oh yeah, it's here. Copenhagen, Lufthaven. It's right here. So. The airport is from. I mean, like this plane already took off. So I would say we were somewhere maybe north, um, because we already see this plane being so far high up. Mm. Here is this is a pedestrian road. Uh, mm, no, they were just doing some construction. So we definitely see a lot of bicyclists too, and um, it's a one-way street. I want to see if we can follow this guy. Do we see this guy? Yeah, here's a very typical uh, view, a very typical bicycle you have in, in the Netherlands or in something like Denmark. Um, they do carry a big cart in front of them. So we saw this um, this this person here on a bicycle with a big cart in front of them. It was basically where they carry their, their stuff around the city. So uh, I don't know much more about this place at this point than what we see here. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say this is somewhere in the north. Um, well, it actually was not, just north of downtown, right? Still got pretty good, pretty good, um, pretty good places. So let's try another place. Um, let's try another map. So we've done the we've done the European. So let's look at some more official maps here. What do we have here? Australia, Canada, Spain, Brazil, Atlantic City. I don't know enough about most of these places, but let's just do United States. Just because it looks like it's the third most placed, third most played map. Oh, right. Five places. Five places to go. So 
placed in the middle of nowhere, of course. So there is a little mountain over there. Let's see. Do we get some kind of highway number? Sometimes the highway numbers include the state. So if you look at this sign here, which is just blank, which is just perfect. So sometimes you can figure out the road, uh, the road's name uh, may include the, the state. So these are literally just, just signs to indicate that there's a little guardrail. Um, see, there's a sign coming up, which is probably just warning us of watch for ice on the bridge. So this means at least it gets, I guess these are bridges. It can get cold here. So maybe this is somewhere in Nebraska. Maybe because it's, it's getting small up there. Uh, sorry, what, what did I say in Nebraska? I mean, Minnesota, South Dakota, North Dakota. Maybe because it can get really cold there. But is it as sandy over there? I don't think so. Here's a sign. Um, what was it here? Right, okay, so this doesn't say it, tell us much other than there are two roads at this point that are. Uh, here's something for sale. The sign is too washed out. Huh, let's look further. Sometimes there's a truck um, that would come, that would cross us maybe, that has a something written on it. So that's why I'm going the opposite direction of traffic. So we are most like more likely to um, have some sorry, truck overtake us, or something like that. But this this guy has just no markings on his car. Nope. Well, I guess you can go either way on the street, and you will have other cars either taking over or. Um, well, I guess what I'm saying is stupid. I should have gone the other way because yeah I want to have see okay so here's oil so maybe it's maybe it's further south than I thought maybe it is Texas because it does really look sandy really right and if you build a map over the United States you would include Texas right so you know what let's just say it's somewhere in Texas but let's choose the more sandy part Make a guess. Well, oh, we're we're just four hundred kilometers away. That wasn't too bad, and it is in the sandy grass area over there. So that location I did not enjoy as much, I would say. So here we are in a much greener area of the United States. This could be something like Iowa, maybe. I would say somewhere around here, Missouri. Just because it's we saw a farm over here, um, so let's go. Uh, let's go backwards this way. Wait, no, I want to go. I want to follow this guy a little bit. Let's see if we have a car coming the other way. State Highway 91, but which state? sign that says a little bit more masses oh church masses <laughs> thought that was maybe Massachusetts here's a motel with an RV park Midway motel is this a zip code SU or like a well thanks Google Maps Oh, just ahead, junction 81 and 91. Okay, so so we're on the highway, either 81 and 91. This is uh, some beautiful farmland you have over here. What are you growing? Oh, 
Kaiser Genetics. Ooh, interesting. Let's look further. Okay, we're following this guy for a while now. Okay, I, th I think I want to know the state, and then we can look for the um, the highway maybe on Google Maps. I think was there was there a road sign that said the next city or so? Let's look on the other side of this guy. Okay, Humphrey, Humphrey, Humphrey. Okay, it's good to know. This sign might reveal us the state. Please. Humphrey, integrity and excellence, not just a statement, a commitment. Well, I'm sure it is. It's railroad crossing. I guess if it's just one one mile to Humphrey, maybe we just go there quickly. See, we follow the train tracks, we see some industry. There we go, come on, what is this? Uh, 402. 402, no idea. Uh, that's the area code for for this guy at least. Let's see, it's a car wash, I guess. They do custom custom car fitting. So I feel like we're definitely in Humphrey now. Is the fire department, Humphrey volunteer fire department and rescue squad. But what state is this? So it's highway 81 to 91, oh no. Is there a construction on this road? Can I still go through? Oh yeah, I can go around. Humphrey Station. Well, you really like the name of your town, for sure. <laughs> it's a railroad crossing, let's look at this. This place here, what's this called? No, in North England, I would say. N E, wait, what do you say? N E is Nebraska, right? So we had, we had, um, what would I say, North England, right? That's not a state. Oh my god, what am I saying? So we're in Nebraska somewhere, State Route 81 and 91, right? That was the two. So uh, they run vertically. Uh, North-South is uh, odd numbers, and West and East are even numbers. So we have 81 and 91 crossing. So here's 83. Ninety-seven, ninety-two, twenty. We're Nebraska. Yeah, Lincoln. Let's see. Omaha. 73, 77, 81. I think it was 81 and 91, right? The sign said before that we were either traveling on the 91 or the 81. So for here we go. Here's Humphrey. There we go. Here's Humphrey. So we came, so here's the access road that we came from, nice, along the train tracks. And we started around, well, I guess that was the first intersection. I guess we started around there somewhere. And that was just a kilometer away. So we were behind 
this other intersection. Nice, that was a great location. I enjoyed this. So, where are we here? Starting somewhere in a suburb. Looking at the architecture, I would have no clue, but I would say East Coast. Just a feeling that I have. Just a feeling. Let's see. Wait, there was a. <laughs> There's a sign here. Oh, it's a car wash. Come on. So I was like to elect someone for office. Hmm. What do we have here? What kind of offices do we have here? We should get back on the road and let's let's travel this road further down Dwayne Road tacos El Mercadito so I'm gonna think I'm gonna say this may not be East Coast after all uh, Georgia, Delton, Georgia, Georgia, Delton, Delton, Georgia. Well, it might be like a breakingly small town. Dol Delton. Georgia. Well, if I don't, really no idea where Delton could be. I'm just going to put it right in the middle of Georgia. And it was on the top left corner. So no, that was not such a good place to play this on. Here we are at a big rail yard in... North end. So it might be in the north end of a city? Well not a that's a good clue. New England Express. So this is East Coast, I would say. 401 area code. West Coast here, we really look at this limousine. What the hell? <laughs> New England Express Mart. So it's going to say somewhere up here, maybe. Let's see. So we were at this rail yard before. Car store. The car store. 
store. The car store Airy. Airy. Is that the name of the city? E R I. Possibly. So we're still going parallel to the rail yard. Maybe be able to find um, find this bridge again on the map later. So we're along a cemetery now. Different area code seven two three. So that was really helpful. Lindberg. Urgent care. There's a couple of sign, couple of signs. Damn it! Not enough. Bowling supplies. Okay, so this is this is a pretty huge cemetery. So that's going to be a good clue on Google Maps. Again, we're at the north end of the city, most likely. Come on, there's there got to be something here in this big... Well, okay, if someone has a Hotmail email address printed on the sign, come on. Get some Squarespace stuff going on for you. CrossFit. Oh, it's a pretty neat Blossoms Design Boutique. Yeah, well, of course, you had to also just uh, remove the dots on the eye, just make it a little bit more designy. Huge cemetery. Cemetery. Another florist. Love a bunch of hardy moms. Huh. Gonna have to do that, of course. Come on, some clue, some like city name printed on a sign, like best car deals in well I guess all we know right now is eerie eerie Ari it's gonna walk along the cemetery here again okay got you you got this go this bus must say something really no it just says ride <laughs> R.I. There, there, it is again. Ride with R.I. Oh, that's weird. I mean... Maybe that is the, the city name? So the cemetery, we're now further south. The cemetery... So, there has to be a cemetery and a rail yard close to each other. Rhode Island. That's what it is. So, there we go. Rhode Island. Just small, right? Um, I mean, you may just be able to, well, well, no, we can't. I mean, it's Rhode Island. 
for sure. So we know that now. Dedicated to Casey, oh, pro Casey. So let's see. Um, we had a big, so let's, let's, let's guess it's in a, in a big city. If it's, if it has a big rail yard and a big cemetery. So here's the rail yard. Oh, there we go. See that? Here's the cemetery. This is the rail yard. Um, when we were traveling probably on this road, we were on this bridge before. Could that be it? Where we started? Maybe down here? No, we were, okay, let's just guess. We were starting on this bridge. And we were, well, yeah, nice. Really just a hundred meters away. That was a great place. So last place, last place in the United States. Oh, and of course we're somewhere nowhere and Google Maps Street View looks like shit. That was just last year? Come on. They had cameras like that last year? What's this? This looks like someone shot this 20 years ago. Well, I guess maybe they did. Maybe they recreated those images last year. Oh my. Okay, so we're in farm country for sure. So I would also say that's west of the Rockies. Sorry, east of the Rockies. So somewhere over here. Oh my God, this is useless. Like this street view quality sucks badly. Okay, so now we know it's 183, 18, and 49. So let's see. Can we, is it possible at all to find those numbers here? So we have 183, 18, so northwest be 18 so we have 36 over there 62 6 24 17 no wait so we need 18 traveling northwest there you go here's 18 18 goes across here then we have we would go also left to 183 and then i think 78 Mm. It was 18. Where does 18 go? Starting with 17. Does 18 just end there? 18. So here was 18. I saw it somewhere. Come on. Here's 18, so I'll just put the marker there. Does 18 come back again sometime? Here's 17, 78. Well, I don't really know if these are numbered per state. Likely, huh? Because they're state, state routes. It's 20, 18. Here's 18 again. So this might be Iowa. 18 has a there's an 18 in Iowa 49 see here's a 52 well I guess doesn't matter that much so we need a one so they're both vertical now so what was the 18 in Iowa here 18 150. Is 1865, 183. Well, these numbers don't make any sense. So, thanks.
this for nothing. Now we're crossing into Nebraska. Let me just put it down somewhere here, North Iowa. And that was actually South Dakota. See, 18183. Oh, man. Well, not too bad. We were pretty close over there. We're pretty close over there. That's good. So let's do another European map. All right. Let's do European. I saw, I saw one that I liked. Let's do Germany. Train stations in Germany. Let's do that. All right, these are train stations. This one is Rostock. All right, that was easy. That was easy. Taxi in Rostock. Where is the Rostock train station? Is it here? It is. So this guy stood outside, right on the other side. Um, the roundabout. There's a roundabout. So he stood here. I would say fifty meters. No way. He did not stand. That's not, that's not right. We are looking at, oh, I know this. Didn't even have to look at the name. I know what this is, this is in Cologne. So let's not move away from this. This is Cologne, Macedoites. In Cologne. Cologne, it's on the other side of the city. So the city is down here, but the Cologne Deutz station is over there. So this was uh, captured right here, 45 meters. Yeah, no, I mean, this guy's still way closer to, well, that's a good place. I enjoyed this. Now we are looking at Lübeck. Oh, come on, this is easy. This is a little bit too easy. Where's the train station? I guess this is the train station. Okay, Lübeck here and in Lübeck train station is here because we're looking at the front and we're right here right there's a little street in between for parking and we're just 23 meters away this looks like it's Berlin no this is Cologne Main station. Oh, I like this main. I like this one. I've been in this a lot. Spent a lot of time in Cologne. Lived there for about ten years. So we're back in Cologne here. Uh, Cologne main station is really close to the cathedral, which is really nice. Like here, the, the big cathedral right next to the train station. And look at the detail they drew into the flat map on Google Maps. So let's see. We're on um, platform seven and six. So that's here. We're looking. This is the cathedral. Which way are we looking? Um, yeah, yeah, this is curves out there. So curves out there. So we're looking at the very end of the main hall, six and seven. Must be over here. That was just 10 meters away. That That's impressive. That you can really only do if you live there, or it takes a lot more time. So I joined this a lot. Thank you. Interesting. So we can tell without moving the mouse, we can tell this is already Pforzheim main station. So I guess this map has, <laughs> makes it a little easy because you're 
Uh, it's very easy to tell which transition is because they have signs all over them. But so I'm going to make it this additional challenge to really think, um, think I can tell where this picture has been taken exactly. So looking at Fort Time main station and I wonder what the red, the red pieces mean here. Are these really like, um, oh, this is cool. Google Maps seems to know about each um, track. Well, I guess like each, each platform. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. So looking at platform uh, three. And I would say we are on this end of it. So we're outside of that. Is that right? Like this looks like it's the city. I would say it's, yeah. I would say we're looking up. There. So 70 meters away. Well, no way. This picture was not taken there. So sure. I think I was closer. Right. Let's go to another German map. Let's do. You know what? Let's do a popular map. I think I've seen. Let's go back. I've seen a popular one that was. Um, like airports. Big international airports. Let's just play this for a moment. Aha, uh -huh. interesting. They're going to place us outside of the airport, at least for this one. So this airport is in... Hmm. This is the US, right? This is the US airport? Oh. <laughs> what, what am I saying? This has to be British. Because I'm... Just gonna say this is London, or, and I'm gonna say this is um, London Gatwick, which is the north one, right? Is it? Um, or Heathrow? Which one is the one in the north? Heathrow. Let's take this this one. And that was complete bullshit. So they're driving on the other side of the road too, and. Sydney, oh. who knew, right? So here's a photosphere, so which means we can't move away from this image. And we're looking at, this is Canada, right? Oh, am I stupid, right? Amsterdam. So I was just hiding in plain sight. Amsterdam, it's Schiphol, and Schiphol is a little bit outside. Um, isn't that cool here? Damn it, uh, Schiphol is that close to the water? No, I'm confusing that with Sandford, which is just a tourist destination. Um, Schiphol, I think I've, no, it's, in, it's on the water. I've, been, I've flown out there once. Um, it has to be close to the water. I, I flew out there once and I was right over water. I flew to LA from Amsterdam, Schiphol. There we go, Schiphol, what's close. So we are close to the tower. Can we tell where the tower is? these images what else do we see Schiphol shopping plaza plaza hmm. well there's somewhere here on Schiphol 
Yep. Thank you. That's a pretty good place. I like this. Wait, we're back in as Zitne? Really? I'm gonna do this again? Okay. I remember this was somewhere south here. So this airport, Sydney airport. Boom. Yep. And that's a lame map. What is this? This is stupid. That's a bad map. Um, oh, I think I also forgot what shipboard is. Boom. Just gonna guess it now. Boom. This was a bad map. All right, that's it. I'm gonna close it here. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you again next time.